Alhamdulillah. All praises are due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah said, in Shabkatun, Allah says, if you are grateful, you are thankful, He will give you that which will be a benefit for you in this life and death, and definitely a benefit for you in the hereafter. He said, that He will increase you with all that is good. So, Alhamdulillah, all praises are due to Allah. Today's khutbah is about the month of Ramadan that, that we're at the door of the beginning of the month of Ramadan starting next week, insha'Allah ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Shahr Ramadan al-Ladi unzila fihi al-Qur'an. The month of Ramadan in which was revealed the Qur'an. Wa huda lil-nas wa bayinat una al-huda wa al-furqan. A guidance for mankind and clear proofs of the guidance and criterion of right of, of right and wrong, the judgment of right and wrong. And Allah continues, for men shahida minkum ashahad, brother Yasum. So those of you who live to see that month should fast it. This is a command from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is one of one of the obligations of the believers. Those who believe in Allah in the last day, if they have the health, they are able, they are of age, and it's incumbent upon them to fast. So the best way of expressing gratitude for the bounty and the benevolence of Allah is for us to prepare ourselves to the best of our abilities. The Quran has been revealed so that we may know the way that leads to, to Allah's good pleasure. <clears throat> Fasting, brothers and sisters, is an excellent means by which to prepare ourselves for shouldering this task. Fasting during the month of Ramadan is not only an act of ibadah, it's not only an act of worship, on excellent course of moral training, tadbiya, but also it is an appropriate form to show thankfulness to Allah for the bounty of the Quran. Uh, I said at the beginning in Shakartu, Allah says, if you are grateful and thankful, let as he done So this is the one of the ways, the greatest ways to show that we are grateful and thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by fasting the month of Ramadan. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala praises the month of Ramadan. Yam tadihu Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had that shahr al He praises the month of Ramadan apart from the other months, as he had chosen it from among the months for the revelation of the Quran. So this is the, the selection process of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, how Allah chooses, right? So when Allah chooses something or someone, it gives that thing or a, 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 a person that he chooses, it elevates his position. Just like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from amongst the mankind, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the selection process of Allah, he selected from the human beings, those to be the, the NBA, the prophets. <clears throat> So he selected 124,000 prophets from mankind. And from the, uh, through his selection process, and those prophets, they were the best of human beings, the best of mankind, the cream of the crop. And from, from the 124,000, through the selection process of Allah, he selected those to be the NBA. I mean, to be the, uh, the Rusul, the messengers. So it said between 313, 315 messengers. 
and through the selection process of Allah, from the messengers, he selected those to be the Ul Azam, the five prophets of firm resolve. And from those five prophets, he selected two to be the Holy Land, the two close friends of Allah, Prophet Ibrahim and Prophet Muhammad. And from those two close friends of Allah, the Khalil of Allah, he selected one to be his Habib, Muhammad. So, likewise, out of, the, out of the months of the year, Allah selected the month of Ramadan. And this give, this give honor and, and a high reverence to this month. And there are other months Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala selected. So all, like I mentioned before, yes, the best of months is the month of Ramadan. The best of, 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 uh, of uh, Muslim, the best of season, is the season of Hajj. The best of nights is the night little to Qadr. And all this is through the selection process of Allah. It's through the selection process of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah selected his month from among the months for the revelation of the Quran. And just as he selected and, sick and signaled it out with the revelation of the Quran, there is a hadith which states that it was the month in which the rest of the divine books, the rest of, of the revelation were revealed to their respective prophets. Because Rawa Abu Dawood and in the peace of Allah who called, only that Sohuf al Ibrahim, the Abu Layla, min Ramadan. وَأُنزِلَ التَّوْرَاءَ مُوسَى فِي سِتِّ الْلَيَاءِ مَتَتْ رَمَضَانِ وَأُنزِلَ الزُّبُورِ زَبُورِ دَعُورِ فِي ثَمَانِ عَشْرَةِ لَيْلًا مَتَتْ مِنْ رَمَضَانِ So he said, the Prophet said that the Sohuf of Ibrahim, the Sohuf, the scrolls or the sketches of Ibrahim, was sent down the first night of Ramadan. The Torah of Moses was sent down in the sixth night of Ramadan, of Ramadan. And the Psalms of Zabur of Dawood was sent down in the 18th night of Ramadan. And uh, in Jil, of Isa alayhi salam was sent down in the 13th night of Ramadan and al Qur'an was sent down al qalbi nabi was sent down upon the, the heart of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi salam on the night of power on the night of power So, as we all know, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the Quran, He says, Amin Rasul bima unzil alayhi min rabbihi wa mu'minun, kullun amana billahi wa malaikati wa kutubihi wa rusuli, la nufarriku bayna ahadim min rusuli. In the beginning of this verse, He said that the messengers, believe in what has been revealed. The messenger believes in what has been revealed to him from his Lord, as do the believers. All of them have believed in Allah and his angels and his books. So the, the word Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala used is kutub. The belief in his kutub, he wrote literally the word, the word kutub means books. But as we all know, the Quran wasn't sent down as a book. It was sent down over a period of 23 years as a revelation, as the words down from the uh, from the uh, low al mahfud to the bit to the bit to Izzah, the house of praise, of the, the, of the house of honor, which is in the in the lowest heaven, at the, the the lowest sky that is closest to the earth. 
and then to the heart of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So we believe, we have to believe in all the books, all the revelations that were sent to the, to the Prophet of Allah. Allah in the Quran, he mentions 25. The Biyya, he, he, he mentioned 25 prophets by name in the Quran. From Adam alayhi salam all the way to the last prophet, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam. So it is wajib, brothers and sisters, for us to know these 25 prophets by name. That is wajib. That is incumbent. That we must know that the, we must know these prophets by name that Allah mentioned in the Quran. Even though Allah said 124,000 prophets, some of them will know their names, but many of them will not know their names. So it is wajib, it is incumbent upon us to know these prophets by name. And the four books that, and I mentioned in the hadith, that is, it is also incumbent, and also, it is also wajib for us to know these books by name, in particular, the Torah of Nabi Musa, the Psalms, the Zabur of Nabi Dawood, the Injil of Nabi Isa, the Quran of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam. So it is also, it is wajib for us to know 25 prophets by name, and it's also wajib for us to know these four books by name. The original, when I said the Injil, I am not talking about the Bible. That the Bible will know now that in, in, here in the West, in America, when we talk about the Bible, it includes two parts, the Old Testament and New Testament. But if you go to the Middle East, when they talk about the Bible, it only, it, 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 it is only, they're only talking about the Old Testament. It doesn't include, it is, I mean, it is only talking about the New Testament. It doesn't include the Old Testament with it. So the Bible is a Greek Roman word. What am I saying? The Bible. Biblio, Biblos or Biblios in, 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 uh, in Greek. It means all these books were put together. So they said so many people came together, uh, uh, Christian scholars came together, found certain papers or information and put it together to make the Bible. But this, this Bible is not what that was sent to Nabi Isa alayhi salam, to Prophet, to Prophet Jesus. When we read the when we read the signs of the last days, and it said that when, when Prophet Isa alayhi salam comes and the, and the Mahdi will be with him to, to establish justice on earth. They will enter Constantinople with the, with the phrase Allahu Akbar. They will take over Constantinople with just Allahu Akbar. And they will, the, the enemies of Islam will, 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 will give up. And then they will enter the Vatican. They will enter the Vatican. And in the Vatican, which is in Rome, they will find a copy, the original, a, a copy of the, not the Bible, but the Injil. They have it within their, hidden in their, in, in the Vatican. And this is where Prophet Isa alayhi salam will find the copy of the Injil. The Injil of Isa alayhi salam. So, this Bible is not the Injil. It's not the Injil. So, it is coming for us to know these four books by name. We believe in them. The Torah, is, the, the Torah we believe in is not this Torah. So many things have been changed. So many original texts have been changed. But we have to believe that, the, that Allah sent this sent a book 
This is a revelation called the Torah. So Allah sent down the Quran all at one time from the preserved tablet Lot al Mahfud I mentioned to the house of might, to the house of honor, al Bayt al Izzah, which is in the sky of this world. Then it came down in parts, Munajiman, in parts in piecemeal to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And, and, and as a side note, so many people, so many brothers, they get confused with the levels of, of paradise. And Allah says, Seven Asimawati was added, the seven, the seven skies and seven earths. People, Muslims get confused. So Allah says, Seven skies. And, and I mentioned that the 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 Beit Izza, the house of of might, of honor, is in the is in the sky that is closest to the earth. But the sky does not mean heaven, paradise, because we, as we know, how many how many how many levels of paradise? That's eight eight levels of paradise. There's, there's eight levels of paradise, and paradise is after the levels of the skies, the seven skies. Beyond that is, is paradise. So we shouldn't get confused between what is how many levels, what is paradise, and what is what is the sky. Allah said there are seven skies. Allah says, and and, and, and is mentioned about uh, the Prophet Allah said there are eight doors or eight levels of the of Jannah. So these are two different things. So the Quran, brothers and sisters, does not change with the changing of places or, or time. The Quran, Nur Ilahi, is the heavenly light and guidance and the and, 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 the, and the guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It, it is a regulation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in order to reform the creation. It is a heavenly law, brothers, for the guidance of the people of the earth. And the example of the Quran is like the example of the sun. The example of the air, the example of nutrients. We cannot just like if there was no air, how would you survive? How would you live? How would you breathe? As soon as the air is taken away, that's it. And as we know, at the time of death, the, the amount of time in our lifetime that our, that our eyelids are supposed to blink. It is, it is maktub, it is written. It's already been decided how many, how many times in your lifetime your eyelids will blink? How many times your mouth will move in your lifetime? How many times your, your heartbeat will, will beat? When the amount of time that your heartbeat will beat or your eyelids will blink has you have reached that amount three million times in your lifetime. Once you reach that three million time, alas, you will not be able to find another, another one. You will not be able to get, you can get all the doctors in the world, you will not be able to get another heartbeat when it's your time. They said that the, the individual Floyd, uh, uh, Mr. George Floyd, uh, who was who was killed in Minnesota, they said when the, when a police officer was on his neck, had his knee on his neck, they said he 
and, and his arms behind him. And said his fingers, his, was, 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 he was squeezing his fingers. And, 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 and the doctor who, who, who understands the, 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 breathing, the breathing system, he said when he was squeezing his fingers, I said he was trying to get more air because, because the, the, the officer, when he was on his neck, was cutting off his air. He couldn't breathe when he had his knee on his neck. And, he, and this movement of his fingers, it means he was trying to reach for more air. He couldn't find any more air. So once the time is, is there for you to be, to be is, is the end of your, your, your life, you cannot get more air. You can reach out, you can call out, you can get all the doctors, you will not be able to get more air, alas. Then the angels, when it's your time, the angels, before this time, it said 40 days before your, your end, the angels in paradise will, will, uh, will call out, Fulan ibn Fulan, Fulana ibn Fulana, cut mat. The angels in paradise will say, so and so has died. They will in general, they will make your genazah. But on earth, you don't know your time is coming. Your angel is coming. You have another 40 days. How will you die? What, which day, we don't know. So the Quran, brothers and sisters, is like the sun, the air, the food, water, that the human being needs to, to survive. We cannot live without the Quran, just like we cannot live without food, without air, without water. Cool it because it has that stuff full of the Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Mu'ad, if you want to have a happy life, and if you want the death of a martyr and the success, Yom al Hashr, the day of uh, resurrection, The day of resurrection, Yom HaShem is the day of gathering. All the souls will be resurrected and will be gathered, waiting for the, the day when Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala call your name in front of all the all the creation. He will call your name to be judged, and then when you're giving your book in your right hand, this is a sign that this is a sign of happiness. When you receive a, your book in your right hand, this is a sign of happiness. This is a sign Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with you. If you want the, the, the death of a martyr, the success on the day of resurrection, and M, M, safety, security, Yom al Khawf, on the day of fear, if you want security, on the day of on the day of fear, Allah said, "Let خوفنا عليهم ولهم يحزنون." They will have no fear and they will not be saddened on this day. If you want security, so the scholars, the righteous predecessors, have said, security is if you fear Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, we have the dunya. If you fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this dunya, right? You will have no fear in the, on the day of judgment. In the next, in the next life, you will have no fear. 
If you don't fear Allah in this dunya, wahdah. Be warned, you'll fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the next life. And you will have, if you want, light on the day of darknesses. And, and shade on the day of intense heat. On the day of intense heat, where he says in, in the on the day of resurrection, the day of gathering, he said, some people will be in, the, in their ankles in sweat. Some people will be in the, in the, up to their knees in sweat. Some people will be up to their chins in sweat. And some people will be engulfed in their sweat. This is from, 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 from worry, from fear, because it said the sun will be one mile, almost one mile from them, from some people. So if you want to shade on the day of judgment, on, on the day of intense heat, what, 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 what you want to be quenched on the day of the stream thirst, on the day of the stream thirst. And you want your scale to be heavy you, you want your skill to be heavy on that day when some skills will be light. What does it mean heavy? It means your good deeds. Your, your, your deeds will be weighed, will be, uh, be put on the scale. Some, some people's deeds will, will be so light. And you want guidance on the day of, mis, of misguidance. Fadros al Quran, study the Quran, learn the Quran. But in the whole dhikr Rahman, but verily it is the remembrance of our Rahman. And protection from Shaitan. Protection from Shaitan. So, my brothers and sisters, this month of Ramadan. This is a reminder for myself and all of you. This is the month of the Quran. We are, we are near the door of the beginning of Ramadan. This is the month of October, of Gufran, repentance and forgiveness, seeking forgiveness. So Tawba means Raja, or Rujur. Huh? Is to Tawbah is to turn towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us an opportunity, a fursa, for us to turn towards Allah. To turn towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the month of purification of the nafs from our deficiencies like ghibah, backbiting, namima, slandering. Corruption, deceit, so many things we can we have to turn away from. So it's incumbent upon all of us, brothers, to take a pact, to make a pact, a firm decision with Allah. Before the coming of Ramadan, what do you want? Maturi, ya muri. Rather to read Yamuri, the one who wants. What do you really want? You read the law or you read or, or to read to read the law or to read the Ghad Lalik? Do you want Allah? Do you want or you don't want other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Mother to read. It's our nafsak. You have to ask yourself. We all have to ask ourselves, what do we want? What do we really want? So we have to make this firm pact with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We have to make a firm pact with our families, with our children, with our wives, but first with ourselves, with our nuts. First with our nuts, with ourselves. And it said that on the day of judgment, our hands, our hands will testify for us or against us. 
our nuts, this nuts that we that we, we, we try to feed all the time, this lower self, this ego. When we stand in front of the law, we're being court. Our hands will testify for us or against us. And we'll be looking at our hands. Oh, and, and it's like your own self testifying against you. You? I, I spent 50 years with you. I spent 90 years with you. You're, you're speaking against me? This is what we'll, we'll look at our, our hands. We'll look at our nuts like this on the day of judgment. We'll be, we'll be dumbfounded. We'll not be able to believe. I did so much for you. I did so many things with you. You're testifying against me. So we have to make a pact with Allah to help us against this, to be able to destroy this nuts. A matter to be sued. There's nothing that is inclined to, to, to bad deeds and, and evil. Help, ask Allah to help you against this, this the, our nafs. And one of the greatest way for us to defeat, to, to break, this is every, the, the, the scholars, the righteous predecessors, they say that they advise us, this is every day, the minimum, we have to go against our nafs 25 times a day. We have to go against our nafs. Because we're getting thoughts. 70,000 thoughts every day. Is, we're bombarded with 70,000 thoughts every day. And the scholars of the, of the spiritual realm, they tell us that these thoughts come from Allah. It comes from the, the Malaika. It comes from uh, our lower self, the ego, or it comes from Shaitan. So every day we have to, like, we have to take a hammer and almost going to battle every day to go against those two enemies, our, our lower self, the nafs, and shaitan. We have to go against it. Otherwise, the nafs gets stronger and stronger and stronger. Eventually, and when it gets so strong, it will, it, will, it will overtake our right mind, our aqal. The aqal, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given this aqal as a blessing to you further bring a heart to a bottle. To differentiate between what is true and what is false. This is what Allah has given us this apple. So many things Allah has given us as a blessing. And, and, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us the month of Ramadan. This is the greatest way to defeat our nafs. And, and on the, during the month of Ramadan, he has the shayateens chained up. So Allah has given us a, a great opportunity. But we have to make a firm resolve, a firm decision. Allah give us all big inshallah. Amen. 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 الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي الصلاة حي الفلاح قد قامت الصلاة قد قامت الصلاة الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله استوب وصلاة وصلاة مع رسول الله Allah, wake up. Bismillah, Rahman, Rahman, Rahim, Rahman, إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم والمغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين
Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. 